Hello everyone, this is CHM301, Atomic and Molecular Structure and Bonding. Workshop Lecture 2, which is on calculation of the power emitted, or rather radiated, by a black body, as well as the maximum wavelength of radiation emitted by a black body. I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemi Kyowa. Electrophysical Chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Benue State University, occurred in Nigeria. This lecture is meant for my students here at the Benue State University, the third year students, as well as other students worldwide who are interested in the questions I tackle on this channel. If you have any questions or any comments and would like to share them with me, you can do that by sending me uh, the question via email um, at either my university email address or my Google email address. In today's lecture, we are going to calculate the power radiated by a black body, as far as the maximum wavelength of radiation emitted by a black body. So after the lecture, I expect you to be able to calculate the power radiated by a black body, as well as the maximum wavelength of radiation emitted by a black body. The question says, calculate the power radiated and the maximum wavelength of radiation emitted by a black body, uh, which has a dimension of 3 meters to 5 meters at 2000 Kelvin. So our strategy is to first of all use the Stefan Boltzmann's law to obtain the excitants. The excitants is the power radiated divided by the area of the emitting region. And then multiply the excitants by the area of the black body to obtain the power radiated. Then to obtain the maximum wavelength, we use the Wayne's displacement law. Um, that gives us the maximum wavelength of radiation. So this is the Stefan Boltzmann's law. Uh, the excitement, capital letter M, is equal to the Stefan Boltzmann's constant times the fourth power of temperature, where sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann's constant, which has this um, value. And then T is the temperature, which in this case is 2000 Kelvin. So I will substitute both the Stefan Boltzmann's constant and the temperature into the Stefan Boltzmann flow. That gives 9.072 times 10 to the power of 14 nanowatts per meter squared. Uh, given that the excitance is power emitted divided by the area of the emitting A region. So we make P the subject of the formula so that we substitute the rest of the variables to obtain the power emitted. That gives P equal to M times A and we substitute the value of M and then the value of the area. So this is M, which we've obtained from this, and this is the area product of 3 meter times uh, 5 meter. We give the area, which are the dimension. Uh, 3 is to 5 is the dimension of the black body. That gives P, the power, to be. 1.36 times 10 to the power of 16 nanowatts, which we can write in terms of megawatts as 13.6 megawatts. To do that, we simply substitute 10 to the power of negative 9 and we multiply that. It leaves us with 10 to the power of 6, uh, which is actually mega. Um, if you remember our first introductory lecture to physical chemistry. Next, to obtain the maximum wavelength, we use the Wayne's displacement law, which says the product of the maximum wavelength 
and the temperature we give 2.99 millimeter Kelvin. And where the temperature is 2000 Kelvin, uh, lambda max is unknown. We make lambda max the subject of the formula by dividing both sides by T. That gives 2.99 uh, millimeter Kelvin divided by the temperature. We substitute the temperature and we evaluate and it gives us 1.4 times 10 1.495 times 10 to the power of negative 3 millimeter which can be written in terms of micrometer as uh, 149.5 micrometer. So to test whether you actually understood the lecture or not, uh, there is a self-test question here. It says calculate the power radiator and the maximum wavelength of radiation emitted by a stainless steel bearing ball diameter 3 millimeter at 3000 Kelvin. If you do this question and find that the power is approximately 130 watts and the lambda max is 997 nanometer, then you are right. Thanks for watching. The link to the PDF version of this lecture can be found in the video description. If you have any questions or any comments, you can send them to me through my university email address or my Google email address. If you enjoy or like this video, I encourage you to subscribe, ring the bell so that when I upload a subsequent video, you'll be notified.